Hey, hello Trojans. It is Thursday, September 30th. Um, when you're accessing this video, I'm making it on Saturday, September 25th. Last night was a big pink out uh, tailgate football game. It was a lot of fun, but let's get to a little bit more serious business now. So I'm going to go ahead and shut my camera off. Let's get focused on the screen. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about destination graduation. Okay. We do a series of four senior meetings, and this is the first. Um, we're going to kind of give you a big picture here and a couple points of emphasis. So let's go ahead and get started. So what does high school graduation really mean? I think that's something that all seniors, especially seniors, maybe juniors too, but all seniors definitely should really be thinking about and what it means for themselves. It's very important. So I'd like you to maybe just take a minute, hit pause on this, reflect on this question, what will a high school diploma mean for you? And I want to throw a truth out there. It's because there's going to be challenges involved. So go ahead and hit pause. Take a minute. Take 30 seconds. Just ask yourself, because the only person that can answer this question is you. And then come back to this, okay? And we'll keep going. All right. Let's move along. So hope um, there will be celebrations, okay? Just know that. We're going to have a lot of celebrations as we get near springtime. And then a question I have of you, is it worth working towards? And I think that's a question you really have to ask yourself because of the challenges, okay? And is it worth fighting for? Because we know with academics, with different requirements and all the things that you guys have as challenges in life with your schedules, there's only 24 hours in a day, five school days a week, seven days a week, you know, you're going to be hard pressed sometimes with time management. Um, I would say absolutely. I would say it's absolutely worth fighting for. Um, and you guys have gone this far. You know, you started preschool, maybe kindergarten. So you are into year 12, maybe 13 overall, maybe even 14. Uh, you've gone this far. You didn't go this far just to get this far. Okay, so here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Promise yourself to never let go of your dreams. Okay, that's a whole different um, way of thinking in terms of what your dreams are. We know we have requirements. Those are the things we have to do to fit the system and, and basically be successful in the system. But I really want you also to think about the dreams you have for yourself and what it's going to take to get there. And part of this is buying into a process so that you can end up setting yourselves up so your dreams can become reality and become opportunities in front of you. Okay, I want to introduce you. If you don't already know, I'm kind of probably speaking mainly to our newer seniors. Um, also, we had to scramble our alpha a little bit because we added a counselor this year. We're pretty excited about that. Our counselors had a very heavy load for the last forever, and the district allowed us to hire a fifth counselor, so we're able to kind of redistribute uh, the caseloads. So for you that worked with Ms. Herrera last year, she's still at the front end of the alphabet. And there she is right there. She's working with last names A through CL. And then our newest counselor, Miss Ashley Cho, she's going to take the second part of the alpha, CO through HE. Miss Letton, many of you had her last year, HI through ME. Mr. Boone Borden, MI through RO. And Miss Jackie Kreslak, I think you guys, she probably is the one that has the same students. Some of you may have lost her from last year. She was new to us last year, but she's keeping RU through Z. She had the has the tail end of the alpha. Okay, also someone you'll want to get to know is our counseling assistant, Ms. Carly Burton. She's in the office all day long. She can help you with all kinds of graduation needs. Um, she's very busy, so when you pop in, just tell her what you need, and she'll get you going the right direction. All right, our goal obviously is 100% graduation. These are photos from 2019. I just didn't have time to update them. We did have a real graduation last year. We had real graduation two years ago. It was just a little bit different. So we really aim to have everybody graduate. All right, talked about big picture. I've got a three page uh, attachment in the video. It's going to come out a little bit later, probably towards the tail end of Troy time, because I really want you to stay. Uh, with the video I'm running right now, but this is basically the breakdown of it. So I'm going to give you all the different requirements on top of what the counselors are working with you with, with your classes. You know, you need 24 credits to graduate. Okay, that's more of the conversation you need to have with your counselor. But I'm going to take you through the form kind of one spot at a time and I'll kind of bunch some of the things together. We're here right now. 
Okay, it's September 30th. We're having our virtual meeting starting October 22nd and 23rd. We're going to get into the very first lesson of your high school and beyond plan. You guys probably remember career cruising if you were here last year. Career cruising, uh, we've gotten rid of it. Okay, we realize that there are better products out there, and we're going to go with a product called Zello. We've had some students help us kind of select that. It was selected at the district level. So all high school students in Auburn School District are working with Zello. There are, I think, eight lessons. They're two days each. They're going to be embedded in Troy time. It's really important that you show up to Troy time and really invest in Zello. Zello is going to help you walk through the different things like financial aid and success, comparing post-secondary schools. And when I say schools, I want to really mean like options, options you have for after high school. You don't have to be going to a school. You could be going to an apprenticeship. You could be going to the military, all kinds of different pathways for you to fit your dreams. But all of these lessons are set up to help you work through a continuum so that your why for graduating becomes even more strengthened. Okay, so I just talked about that. Our next senior class meeting will not be until November 4th. And then we don't have one until springtime. Okay, so these are the different Zellos that will work all the way into the winter, into the spring. As you guys see the dates there, you guys can read the titles. Uh, scholarships are something that come up, you know, not until March, but trust me, it's going to feel like March here in a couple of days. That's how fast your senior year is going to go. Miss Letton's going to push out information on that probably after winter break. But if you're a senior who's planning on going to college, community scholarships, are out there. There's lots of them. And when you apply for one, it could actually qualify you for more than one, but Miss Letton will carry that information later. Um, as I said, our third senior class meeting will, won't be till springtime. So that's after uh, spring break. And then we jump back into our seventh and our eighth Zellos. Um, so now this one for lesson seven, for instance, it's getting into your career backup plans. It's always good to have a plan A and I always have a plan B. That's just the way I roll. It's always good to have it. Um, hopefully you never have to exercise a plan B, but in the world of COVID, I'm all about plan A, Bs, and Cs. But when it comes to your careers and what you want to do, you definitely want to have not a fallback plan, but something else that might fit your dreams. Um, we're also going to open up applications for senior speakers at graduation. That won't be until early May. We'll have our last senior class meeting on May 18th. Hopefully we can do that live and in person and then we'll finish up with last Zello and then we've got some deadlines going with Zello. That's the very first deadline. Our last one won't be until Friday, June 16th, but you really want to stay with those. Okay. Don't get, don't fall behind. Keep working with them. And that's also attached to your Troy time credits. Okay. Senior class speaker applications due latter part of May. Uh, we'll have a Green River College signing day for those going to Green River. It's an amazing opportunity. Uh, we'll do tryouts for the speeches. And then all of the events here in gray, those are like special pre-graduation events for students who are part of those programs. So you can see what those are. Some of the dates haven't been set yet, but you can look on the right-hand column who, who would be involved. And... Uh, we just think those are awesome opportunities. So those are some of the celebrations. And those are the things I want to have so that you guys know that we're recognizing you for more than just earning a diploma. All right. Here we go. This is I'm not even going to have any arrows on this one. This is more big picture for later in the spring after you've taken care of all the things I just went through. Um, and as each month goes by, as each iteration of this countdown sheet, the one I'm giving you now, or the one you'll get at the end of Troy time, it's a draft, okay? Just know that. Uh, the Zello dates are pretty solid, but some of the later things in the spring, we still have to figure out where we're going to be with COVID. So some of those plans don't get made until right after winter break. Um, the big ones, you guys, these are the ones we're all waiting for. We're going to have a big graduation parade the night before commencement. And then commencement will be on Saturday, the 18th of June. We don't have the time finalized yet. So you can tell your relatives, your friends, your family um, that we will have it on that day. Um, that's the plan. And uh, as far as how many tickets we can get for graduation, that is yet to be determined. And we'll let you know as soon as we know. And then just so you know, we don't hand out diplomas at graduation. We give you the diploma cover. 
we still have to make sure that all the students fines and all equipment gets turned in. Anybody that is zero balance on their student account has everything in, your diploma will be mailed to you. And the students that still need to square up some things at school, you can pick it up at Auburn High School after June 4th or July 4th. Okay, our second senior meeting is number, November 4th during Troy time. Our Jostens graduation rep, Mike Annis, will be with us hopefully in person, probably virtually, to share purchasing info on caps, gowns, rings, announcements, et cetera. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. It's time to get excited. I think just for the basic pack, for the cap, the gown, the tassel, and the class of 2022 sash, the white one that goes across your chest, I think it's about $65. It may go up a little bit this year because of inflation. And then kind of on that, for you students who would like to do something culturally to wear, it could be a serape. Uh, it could be a, um, what am I thinking of? Oh, your eagle feather and your cedar cap, or it could be a, what's the other one? Oh, kente cloth for our African-American students. And anyway, we'll, we'll have more conversation about that in our senior meetings. And then you will receive a separate email later this week with some Jostens grad purchase info. I want to give you some deadlines, some discount deadlines, things like that. And then you'll see Mike in November. And then, you know, don't turn us off yet. I got one more segment here. I just want to say, have a great day. Make it a great day the Trojan way. But before I end this, I want to reintroduce or introduce you to Miss Anna Marshall. She is our college and career readiness counselor. She is, she does a lot. And her main passion is to help students. So if once you decide what you want to do, or if you're even exploring or investigating what you want to do, the Career Center is a great place to do that. You can do that during your lunches. You can do it before school, after school. Just go check in with Ms. Marshall. You can email her and you can find out all the things she has to offer. And then the last thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you a video and then we'll close this out. So have a great day, everybody, but definitely watch the video. Hello, Hello seniors. seniors, this, this is, is your, your year. year. My name, My name is Ms. Marshall, Marshall and I'm the college and career counselor at Auburn High School, School and I'm here to support you as you prepare for life after graduation, graduation which, which will come really quickly. I wanted, I wanted to highlight a few upcoming events to make sure you have them on your calendar. Uh, and these are important milestones for seniors, for seniors. Um, um, so we want to make sure you're ready for them. them. The first one comes tomorrow during Troy time, so October 1st is the day that students can start completing their financial aid applications. Um, so during Troy time tomorrow, we'll have some financial aid experts on hand uh, to talk to you a little bit more about the process. In order to be ready for that, um, please come prepared with your social security number. Uh, you don't have to bring the actual card, but if you have the number memorized or if you can put it into your phone somewhere um, to access it during Troy time, that will be helpful for you. If, if you don't, don't have a social security number, there are still options for you to complete financial aid applications, so don't worry. So that's the first big thing. Uh, the next event is going to be the SAT on October 13th. Um, we encourage all seniors to take that. Um, you may find that colleges want, want the scores, um, and also it can be used for scholarship purposes. There is no longer an essay section, um, so you don't have to worry about that part. And then, and then finally, finally, I wanted to highlight the Google Classroom for you. Uh, there is a Google Classroom set up for the class of 2022, and that'll have information for you about scholarships and deadlines and job opportunities. Um, so please be sure to join that Google Classroom. And then it's one more plug for the financial aid application. Um, regardless of what your current plans are for after you graduate, we want to make sure that our, all options are available to you. So, so every, every single one of you should complete the financial aid application, application and then um, you can use that to see how much money you'll have available to you for college. And, and you'll probably find that college is going to be more financially feasible than you might have expected. There is a college-bound scholarship that half of the senior class signed up for when they were in middle school. Um, and the college-bound scholarship allows students to have their tuition uh, pretty much covered at all Washington public schools. Um, and the only thing you have to do to access that is to fill out the financial aid application um, and graduate from high school with a 2.0 GPA. If you have questions about whether you signed up for the college-bound scholarship, please contact me.
And if, and if you have, have questions, questions about college bound or financial aid, aid or, or anything regarding planning for your future, for your future um, you please, please stop by the Career Center and say hi. Um, or, or you can also send me an email, email um, and, and my email address is listed right there. Right there. I, look I look forward to working with you and I'm excited for what your senior year holds for you. Have a great day. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great day, everybody.